Rockin' with PettyBlog.com. It's your boy, Silk D O Double G, and you are now watching the Petty Blog. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> oh my god, it just hit me. <laughs> petty and T. I, 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 I'm so dumb. <laughs> so they already know that I'm dropping the T. So let's get right into it, and in case you missed it. There's been some rumors circulating for about a week now and there's some pretty serious allegations actually, which is that when it comes to T.I. and his son King, that T.I. is not the father. And this rumor comes amidst T.I. and King seemingly being at odds after a live show's King trying to claim that he's street. I'm outside. While Tip is denying that his son is, new new style. That way your mom and daddy move you to have a better life. King, have you, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Here. No, that's not the goal. All right, then. Yeah, go. His son is getting mad telling his dad not to play with him or whatever and that he knows the real him, the real tip. And Tip saying that King is out here embarrassing the whole family. You were born with a silver spoon. Yeah. Silver spoon? I ain't never ate with that day in uh, my you, life. You had a spoon Look, damn boy. I, I know you though. I know you. Shout you don't know me. What's wrong with y'all? Why you let him play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? What do you mean? You are embarrassing you yourself and the family. And social media is out here saying, wait, y'all not even family for real. As they believe that this man that y'all are seeing on your screens is actually King's biological father. His name is Bimmy, and he's actually Deborah Atney's biological brother. So if these allegations were somehow true, then that would make King Waka Flocka's cousin. First cousin to be exact. And people believe that that's why King says that T.I.'s history is a mystery and that's why he's seemingly just starting to disrespect them because he allegedly just found out that Tip ain't his father anyway. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. Hey, what is she talking about? Get off me, nigga. Get off me, nigga. Get off me, nigga. Well, you can't do nothing with me. When it comes to this situation, here's some of what folks had to say. This person wrote, T.I. need to stand on business and get a DNA. This one, nobody else hitting Tiny, bruh, come on. Oh, wow. This one says, King Mama right here. Y'all so wrong. Um, Let's see. This one, that's possible, but wait, if that's the case, so Tiny was cheating on T.I., damn. This is sad for both fathers if this is true. This one, impossible. Um, Bro, that would change everything. Doesn't make sense. This one says, after the DNA test, T.I. is going to toss him to the streets. Oh wow, um, this is his real father. Y'all need to stop. This person wrote, T.I. is too handsome to be that boy's father. I knew he was too weird to be Tip's son. This person wrote, doesn't matter. Whoever stepped up as the father is the real dad. Y'all tripping, that's definitely T.I.'s son. He's light-skinned cause tiny is, but you can't tell me he don't look like Tip. I don't know about that, but this person wrote, he was such a cute little boy. This person wrote, quite possibly because Major and Harris look alike, but he looks quite different and more like this man. Waka Flocka's uncle, and I can't lie, he does look like him a little bit. I mean, social media has really been going in on King's look for a minute now, but he never seemed to let the clowning get to him and has really been standing on business instead. And I'm not talking family business, pun intended. I stand on business. And as you can see, the vast majority don't think that Tip and King look anything alike, not even a little bit. So to help them justify what they can't see, I think they found a random who does look like him to make it make sense for them in their mind. And again, I can see the resemblance, but for all of us who used to watch Maury, then we know that no matter how much people can look alike, they can come back with no matching DNA, okay? Because sometimes DNA just doesn't make sense. You know how many people I haven't seen who look nothing like their mama or their papa? I just be so confused, but we're not even going to get into that right now. Right now, the point is that Tiny has addressed these allegations after catching wind of it, and here's exactly what she had to say in response. She took to her stories, reposted the allegations, and wrote on top of it, Man, this is the biggest bullish ever. No disrespect, but I don't even know Bimmy like that. I was just reminded of who he was. Quit playing with us for clickbait, bitch. Ooh. So there you have it, folks. When it comes to King, he is not Waka Flocka's cousin. The end. You are not the father. Now that that's out the way, here's the full video of T.I. and his son, emphasis on son, going at it, as a lot of fathers and their teenage sons do. Check it on out. Southside, right? Yeah. That yeah. Way, that way, that so way, we ain't got that no. Way, that way your mom and daddy move you to have a better life. Yeah. Huh? 
Huh? He didn't like to say that. He he stayed in the suburbs. He was raised in the suburbs. He gave him a right. He was raised in the suburbs. You know, you know, Terra Boulevard. He called Terra Boulevard. Terra Boulevard in the suburb. You can't really say that because yeah. Terra Court is white. Yeah, that's why I be trying to tell you. Well, my mama Terra Court is white. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, man. That's where you need to move to have a good goddamn life. I be trying to tell him. I be trying to tell him, man. That's why you need to move to have a good life. I'm from, I'm, from, I'm from the projects of college. Park. And I moved exactly. to Riverdale Road. And I moved to Riverdale Road. From the look, projects of college. Park. So Riverdale Road. That's have what? a good life. Clayco has been all the things that was I can't being really have a good life. Look, look. Yeah, my mama did. Uh, exactly. Yeah. 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 So Clayco is a place. But they got all their money. They got all their money. Ain't no good life in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no good life in the hood. See the south side with me when they, you know what I'm saying? Clayco ain't no suburb. Stop Bridge, maybe. Stop Bridge. That where you were? That where you were? That's where the lake house was. That's where you were? That's where the lake house was. Like, the lake house was. I was 15 minutes from the lake house, 20 minutes. Listen, man. I stayed in the lake house. 15 15 minutes you, just tried to, you just tried to make a point with. I'm not married. I just said, I I said what I said. I can't, I can't go for the top of the man. suburbs. And then when they be saying, nigga, who's out there? Bro, I'm my mama, bro. You got some nigga that don't call him. He know. And they go crazy, man. They yeah. go crazy. I'm, they go crazy. We had a lot of city niggas. I don't know why he tried to do that. We had a lot of city niggas. It's because I was alive. It's because I was alive. It's all right. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. They go crazy. It's all right. What? So y'all got to claim it. Y'all got to claim the south side. Who know from LA? They know. Who was the LA? So it was safe to you? You wouldn't watch yeah. nobody when you was going in your car. No, I wouldn't wear when you were going. I would bring in the bullshit. I would bring in the bullshit. Everybody I introduced you, the bullshit. Had the damn BP. Had the BP. I introduced the bullshit. Where, where, where about? In the crossing. Up there by the Walmart? Yes, across the street from Riverdale Middle School. Yeah, they were my pot mix. I made them put the gate up. We I made them put the gate up. Me and Young Dro. I, I, my flag still flying out there. I'm right. Yeah. I'm right with Monday Mill right there, right on the street. Monday Mill, Pine Brook, right there. Like, like, but I make. Oh, that's that's she felt different than me. She felt different than me. I'm trying to tell you is, I'm trying to tell you is, it's only a few of them. That's what I want. It's only a few of them. You are one among many. I'm going to Blood Bay right here. You are one among many. 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 Let me tell you different. 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 Let me tell you Let me tell you you come to us and you say, hold up. You say, you say, hold up. This shit, this shit rough out here. Let me hey, deal my shit. King, have you, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? No, that's not the goal. All right, then. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. I got ear. some niggas in the neighborhood ever, with me that broke up with roach in your ear. Y'all want to go to the, y'all want to go to the bando in my neighborhood? Do y'all want to go to the bando? Do y'all want to go to the bando? You got to kill a rat. Do you want to come to the bando? You know how they say. Uh, you wasn't born with a silver spoon? Like my son got me was born with a real Tiffany silver spoon. Yeah, look, that's what I want. Look, that's what I want. 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 That's what I
He be sucking pacifier over there. Till you're 12 years old. He was sucking pacifier till you're 12 years old. He didn't do that in the house. He cried like a baby. Hold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They try to say I was over there trying to suck a passy, but they ain't gonna tell you everything. Like they, they, yeah, they trying yeah, to hide it. Ain't nobody hiding. Sugar coated. Sugar coated. Sugar coated. Sugar coated. You cry like a baby. I can tell you why. Where, where, ain't where, no where, kids. Where, where, ain't no where, kids where, in where, your neighborhood. Where, ain't no kids in your neighborhood. I'm outside at the green box. I'm outside. You know what I'm saying? Stop acting like you ain't have to come and check stuff over at the house. Stop acting like we ain't have to go check nothing in that neighborhood. Stop playing with me. Yeah, he capping. He capping. He know I stand on business. He know that. Can't no nigga ever pull my car ever in life. I stand on business. You got me somewhere, I stand on business. You got me in your hood, I stand on business. Yeah. I've been stood on business. I've been stood on business. You want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. Nigga, I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere, nigga. Like, I ain't, you ain't had me behind the mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. You behind me until you No, y'all trying to do a big one. Trying to do a big one. Niggas ain't got too much to drink. Niggas are drunk too much. Niggas drunk too much. Let's go. Niggas get mad because we say the South ain't the suburbs. Then he want to talk about some other shit. Like, this be a city, nigga. Just be a city, nigga. No, I'm being real, nigga. You lying. You lying. You up here flagging. You're capping, nigga. You're capping. 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 you you know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. Why you even let somebody play with me like that? Why you let somebody play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? No, ain't no joking. Ain't no joking. What do you mean? You are embarrassing yourself and your family, nigga. You embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. What is she talking about? Get off me, nigga. Get off me, nigga. Well, you can't do nothing with me. Ain't shit you can do with me. Listen. <laughs> Let me not stop talking my talk because y'all gonna throw me out. You know? uh. What are y'all really thinking right now, though? You really want to know? So leave your thoughts below. Like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Petty vlog.